We got Charlie. We got Charlie. <coughs> Let's get another one in for the TND Streams channel. Woo woo. So Charlie XCX has got a new one out. Christine and the Queens is on this one. Isn't, um, uh, hey, thank you. Isn't Caroline on this one as well? New Shapes, uh, following up Good Ones. Uh, we're hearing two new singles from a new Charlie era. Yep, Caroline's on it too. Um, you know, I, I wasn't too crazy about Good Ones. It did feel like a bit of an 80s throwback, which was fine, but I, I didn't think it was strongest on the production end. Uh, the tune was okay, I suppose. I'm hoping with this being kind of a grand cross-section of some great singers and, uh, you know, pop personalities that uh, uh, we're in for a big one here. So let's give it a listen. Let's give it a shot. Uh, new Shapes. Here we go. Bam! Okay. All right. Um, liked Caroline a lot on that track. I think vocally she was, uh, you know, really the standout. Though, you know, Christine and the Queens did bring, uh, I think, uh, 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 some voluminous harmonies that were kind of, uh, you know, grand and passionate. Passionate. It was. It was definitely more. Um, I'll say, uh, anthemic and ambitious and just larger in size and scope than uh, Good Ones was, which I like. I like that about it. I think uh, again, more anthemic, slightly stronger tune, bigger beat. Sounded, uh, you know, very anthemic, very eighties. <clears throat> Those gigantic, hard-hitting, gated, 80s-ass drums were in the mix. Uh, the one thing sonically that I wasn't crazy about was like that little extra auto-tuned layer like over the hook. I ain't got it. Like it just seemed like a little uh, grating. Um, kind of made the hook seem a little rougher than it uh, it should have. But um, overall, I mean, I think the chorus was there. Structure was there. Vibed well. Grooved well. Um, it was fine. It was fine. It was pretty good. Better than good ones, but I guess I wasn't crazy about good ones to begin with. So, you know, is, is it really saying that much? Um, I guess finally, like the last thing I want to say here is like, while there are still touches and influences that I think are being carried over from Charlie's, you know, recent records, I think with these two new singles, it's pretty uh, apparent. It's pretty clear to say, I think we'd say pretty definitively, <clears throat> at least, you know, for the time being until maybe we move past this album cycle that Charlie's like hyper pop uh, era is over. I think Charlie's hyper pop era is done. Is she like completely done with that sound? Is she totally done with that style? Um, which is fine. I'm not like, you know, saying Charlie needs to be locked into one single style or sound forever. Of course, it's like, you know, kind of ridiculous to assume that. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, if she does move on to other things, what does that mean for the genre and pop, uh, you know, in general? Because, you know, while, while 100 Gex is big, um, you know, Charlie and A.G. Cook have, have really been like, you know, uh, and, and just, you know, uh, um, I'll say uh, PC music in general, have, have been the ones that have kind of like forced this style and this aesthetic into the mainstream. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, if, if you sort of don't have that, mainstream, you know, representative there kind of pushing it out there and, and making it more and more popular. Um, yes, R.I.P. Sophie, for sure. Um, you know, what's that going to mean for everything that's sort of like happening underneath? You know what I mean? Her label wants a radio record. They may. They may. But the, but that would be so silly at this point, because, you know, while, while Charlie has been on like lots of big tracks over the years, especially with those features, uh, you know, be it a boom, clap, or, you know, that's not a featured one. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm thinking of, uh, you know, Icona Pop and so on and so forth. But I'm also, you know, thinking of Boom Clap being kind of one of those big radio records that she's done over the years. Um, you know, I, I just feel like it's it's not really about the radio anymore. It's not about the radio. Who the fuck wants a radio record anymore? What artists want now is a fucking TikTok record. Like TikTok records are what's blowing people up and turning artists into overnight successes. It's not radio records. Who the hell's getting famous off the radio? Like, people are getting fucking famous off of TikTok. People want a TikTok record. And to me, this doesn't sound like a TikTok record, you know? Uh, to the point that somebody said earlier, it does sound like a radio record. But, like, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe in, like, uh, not that great of a way. Um, but, you know, again, overall, I don't think it's a bad track. I don't think it's bad. Um, it's just a little disappointing to hear her shifting into something that is 
a little more dime a dozen. I feel like there's still like heart in the songwriting for sure. And, you know, I like what Christine and the Queens brings to it. I like what Caroline brings to it. But I think this is just like not as bold a move as her past, you know. I mean, think about how long it's taken for us to get here. We had Vroom Vroom, and then we had those mixtapes, and then we had Charlie, and then we had the pandemic record. Like, she's been kind of, you know, dedicated to this this sort of futuristic pop sound for a while and has, you know, developed um, much of her career through it. And now she's kind of moving on to something else. And uh, so far, that transition is not blowing me away. You know, I, I like the look. I like the aesthetic change. I like that, you know, she sounds like really hard committed to this transition. But um, at least in terms of the two tracks, the two singles so far, I'm not blown away. So uh, again, new shapes. It's okay. It's all right. But decent. I don't know. I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching this New Music Friday stream clip over on TND Streams. To see future New Music Fridays, hit up our Twitch page at twitch.tv slash the needle drop. To see some past ones, hit up our Patreon page linked near me or down below in the description. Also get some bonus monthly content in the process too over there. And yeah, see you guys in the next clip forever.